welcome back to another episode of Game Day here on the AdMix channel. My name is Mikey. Today, the game that we're going to be reviewing is called Lonely Mountains Downhill. Now, this game was published by Thunderful Publishing and it was developed by the devs over at Megagon Industries. The art style was quite unique, where it's quite boxy. A little bit like Minecrafty. You basically start at the top of a mountain and you have to go down the mountain and see if you can beat your record. Kickstarter is kind of a cool thing that for uh, developers and studios to uh, get the funding for a creating game. So this is the main menu, guys. Lonely mountains down hill. Okay, so we have the uh, different kind of mountains here. You can customize your character. So I haven't unlocked any characters. I've only got the grasshopper, which is the base character that you get there you go i'll choose i don't know maybe i'll choose this one. Oh hell yeah look at this let's jump into this trial again and see if i can beat my time record before you start you can see there's seven laps that you need to checkpoints that you need to reach in a certain amount of time if you complete the game if you manage to get through the whole thing in three minutes you unlock a custom outfit i'm excited to play this so you can speed up by holding the a button down oh oh you can use the brakes to kind of like drift around corners. Oh, that was terrible. Uh, let's restart that. You can kind of cheat the truck. Oh my God. I nearly fell to my death. I don't really ride bikes much. Let's go, let's go. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's definitely better using the controller to play this game. I wouldn't want to know what it feels like to play it with mouse and keyboard. It's more fluid and more flexible playing with a controller. I love the different camera angles to the game as well. How it pans out when you get when you get to certain parts. Oh my god. Dude, that turn is gnarly, bro. Yo, bro. That turn was gnarly, dude. I did it in three seconds less, guys. I did 252. Yes. So I unlocked an outfit. The cheetah outfit. Ooh. Oh, I'm looking fresh. So we're done with those ravine. Let's try now the wandering woods. This looks mad. I I can so every time you, re you restart, you remember like, oh, okay, I know to slow down at that part of the level, that part of the run. I know to speed up at that part of the run. You've been training for this all your life. Come on, man. Everything just looks like it fits well. You get most of these realistic kind of like racing or biker games and they put so much effort into making everything look quite realistic but you can make a game look as simple as this and still as effective so that's lonely mountains downhill guys i had so much fun playing this game genuinely like i haven't played a biking game or a downhill biking game in quite some time the, i think the last kind of like bike game or motorbike game that i played was trials even if this game had like a multiplayer function, I know they have the leaderboard, but if you can get you and your buddy or your or your friend to jump in and try and like complete the downhill challenge the fastest, uh, if it's like a split screen mode, that would be really cool actually. The customization, adding the new uh, hairstyles, the color to your bikes, unlocking different bikes. I suppose if you unlock different bikes, it gives you different stats. So you're able to brake faster. You have longer boost. Stuff like that, which um, adds these kind of games and gives it a more um, functionality and able to players to come back and beat their time records. Having the exploration level to play with, to begin with, when you start the level and then being able to go back into level and see if you can com complete each checkpoint in the fastest time and giving the, the player challenges to complete, like not uh, falling down or um, getting hit 20 times, uh, completing it in the fastest amount to unlock different uh, clothes and different bikes and different skins and spray paints is what makes these kind of games always fun to come back to and i can definitely tell that i'm going to be jumping into, into this game again all of that is really fun and what's made this game great so props to those guys over the devs over that made this game thank you so much again guys for watching this game day review video on the admix channel if you liked it please subscribe as always click the like button and the bell notification to be notified when all of our next reviews and all of our episodes come out. If you like this channel and you like this content, follow our social platforms there, there and there for you guys to be able to keep up to date with everything AdMix. And I'll catch you lots on your bikes in the next video. I'm gonna pedal out here. <laughs> what am I doing? And sweet!